Good morning, Cowboys Nation. Your boy Mike Tack here. Hope you guys had a great Christmas. Before we get rolling, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like. Make sure you hit the subscribe. If you're on just watching, make sure you at least hit that like. What's the matter with you guys? It helps helps your boy out, helps the channel out. So uh, just want to say, hey, hopefully everyone had a very Merry Christmas. Uh, much better than Christmas Eve, I'm sure. But, you know, looking at the picture, just wanted to drop a video. But we're going to have some great shows this week, Wednesday. We will be live, Kelly and I, and Kelly's going to be on location at a special place. Well, that'll be disclosed when we uh, when we go live. But then Thursday, we are going to have a Jimmy Johnson kind of tribute memories, talk about the, his career, coaching with the Cowboys, some stories and things like that. Hopefully, we have some special guests popping in. So you don't want to miss that on Thursday. So we got a lot going on. Then your boy's going to be down at AT&T Saturday. We're going to have a good time. We'll be tailgating. We'll be at the Des Bryant tailgate, I should say, at Texas Live. So if you guys haven't been there, that's the, that's definitely a place you want to hit. So hopefully I'll see all you guys out at AT&T. You know when your boy's there, we win. So all your worries can be put to rest. We're going to handle that business on Saturday night and finish the season 12-5, and five, which if you go back to the tape, that's exactly uh, what I said we'd finish. And um, so we're kind of where I thought we'd be. Eagles, I, I think they're frauds. Uh, they're ahead of us by one game, barely beat the Giants. We'll get into that. Uh, but they got two games left. I think they're going to drop one. If they drop one, we're going to win the division. We'll get the number two seed, and we'll have two home playoff games. You got to like that in the playoffs and the way Cowboys play. So let's look at the playoff picture. Right now, I mean, if you were asking ourselves, what is striking fear in the Cowboys' eyes for the playoff teams? I mean, you've got you've got Seattle, who you've beaten. You've got the Rams, who you've beaten. You got the Buccaneers. I mean, I'm not worried about them at all. I mean, and and the thing just going into these two teams, Seattle, we we beat them at home. They uh, they, they they had a gutsy performance against Tennessee. They beat Philly, but I mean, that's not really saying a whole lot. They beat them with their backup. Uh, that's how bad Philly's defense is. So. Seattle, nice story. I'm not worried about them. Rams seem to be the team. Nobody wants to play. Nobody wants to play the Rams. Nobody wants to play the Rams. I mean, they've had some they've had some nice wins, but I mean, let's let's you know let's let's slow it down. You got to slow it down a little bit. I mean, they've had some nice wins, but it's not like they're blowing these teams out. It's not like they're they're doing all these you know crazy things. I'm trying to look up their schedule right quick and. Let's see what they got. Let's see what the Rams that they got coming up. I think they've got, I think they've got the 49ers maybe to end the season. I'm not sure. Let's see here. Let's go look where da, da, da. they are. Should have been more prepared. It looks like they got, they got, oh, this thing must be wrong because they're showing, I think the Rams. Anyway, they, they had some gutsy performances. They had some nice games, but I mean, really, it's not like they've beaten a bunch of uh, great teams. They beat New Orleans, uh, 30 to 22. They they beat Washington. They lost to the Ravens. I uh, beat the Browns as a good good win. So it's not like they 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 they've gone crazy. They've got the Giants and they've got the 49ers. That's they got two road games left. Not going to be easy to win on the road. They'll probably beat the Giants because Giants aren't any good. But more than likely, they're going to lose to the 49ers unless 49ers have something locked in. So. That's the that's the Rams who nobody wants to play. Buccaneers or whoever comes out of the South, they're that no worries about them. The Lions, they've been streaky. Lose to the Packers, lose to the Bears, win a game here, win a game there. You don't know really what you're gonna get. So I just don't know if they're ready for prime time yet. The Eagles, we talked about them. The 49ers, you know, I'm not gonna kill them too much on the Ravens game. I mean, they threw four picks, five picks total. Purdy got knocked out of the game. Um they're beatable. Now, they're probably the one team that I probably prefer not to play because there's something about them and us that just don't mix. But if you're looking at this team, yeah, the Cowboys lost to the Bills. The Cowboys lost a tough game to the to the Dolphins. Um, but, you know, there are two road games, and it's hard to win on the road. And I know the road woes for the, for the Cowboys, and people talk about it. But look at their road schedule. I mean, they played San Francisco on the road. Obviously, Philly on the road, which they should have won that game. Let's just be honest with ourselves. They beat Philly on the road. I think the conversation that we're having is not even there. 
They lose to Buffalo on the road. They lose to Miami on the road. They lost to four teams on the road that more than likely are going to be double-digit wins. The one stain that they've got is they lost to the Cardinals. For whatever reason, they blew that game. It is what it is. You can't – I mean, it was week, what, three or whatever. I'm not going to – you know, it is – can't can't deny that one. they got to own it. they got to own it. But the thing that I see with the Cowboys, obviously they're better at home. They get things going. They do have the defense. I mean, if you were to tell me that they would have given up Miami five field goals, one offensive touchdown, held them under 100 yards, I think we would. I mean, I would have bet. I would have bet my house on it. So we, the defense is capable of doing what they got to do. Um, that was a good game, back and forth game. Things just, you know, there was. I'm not gonna make excuses. There was some bad calls here and there. There was, you know, the, the offense kind of fell stagnant in the beginning, but. At the end of the day, Dak Prescott, beautiful drive. I think it was 14-play drive, drove him down. So anyway, what I'm saying is I think Cowboys fans, we always live here. We live when they – if they beat Detroit, it's Super Bowl. If they lose against a team, it's – they're the worst team. I hate them. Dak Prescott sucks, and that's just the way it goes. Those aren't the fans I like to deal with. I like to deal with the ones that are kind of rational, understand, hey, you're not going to win every game, but it's kind of how are you going and how are you going to the playoffs. The goal is to get in the playoffs. Check that off. Next goal is to win the division. That's still in their hands. Next thing most important to me is get in, get some momentum going in the playoffs. These next two games are critical. These are the two games they should win. They should beat Detroit at home, and they should beat Washington, who's just kind of fledgling uh, on the road. So get a two-game win streak in and make your road to the playoffs. And that's what I'm saying. You look at the playoff schedule, it's not anything that's that, that's that's fearful. So I want to calm the Cowboys nations down. But again, we're going to get into it a lot on Wednesday with Kelly K9. And of course, we're going to have our Jimmy Johnson special on Thursday. You're going to be telling some stories. Hopefully I have some special guests come in. So we'll be getting into a lot of that uh, as well. So looking at Philadelphia, let's look, let's, let's look at each one of these teams. San Francisco obviously played uh, probably their worst game in, in a long time. They, they like to say the Dallas Cowboys blueprints out. Well, maybe their blueprints out. They've got playmakers. But if you harass and you get into Brock Purdy's face, uh, he struggles. And he did. I mean, there's you make no mistake about it. But the thing that they got is CMC is a real deal. He's, pre, he's tough. The other thing that I would say with their defense, if I'm Dallas, I am attacking. I'm attacking. I'm not even worried about running the ball. We'll get into the running game on our live show on Wednesday. That's that's a conversation I've had all year. It's been my biggest concern with this team and it continues to be the biggest concern with this team. And I think if there's a downfall, there's two things that, that, that are gonna bring this team down, running game and penalties. But penalties are fixable. Penalties are correctable. The running game, we got what we got. We either make adjustments with how we are doing things or I just say, you just throw. And you just throw, throw, throw. Spread them out wide. Throw five receivers out there, two down, whatever you want to do. Just spread 49ers out and just throw all day and just roll the dice and try and get into a track meet with them. And hopefully your defense uh, can shut them down a few times, make them more one dimensional, get CMC out and uh, and take our chances. But that's personally what I would do if we if, if we had to play the 49ers. I would just take a different approach. I would not play into their game. We have played into their game keeping everything close, run the ball, defense, you know, that kind of thing. I just think you just got to go after them and you just got to be in attack mode. So that's the 49ers. Philadelphia, terrible team. Not even going to waste our time. We'll be, I, I pray that we play Philadelphia in Philadelphia. I pray that we play them in Dallas. Wherever we play them, I hope Philadelphia is our divisional round because that pretty much guarantees that we'll make it to the NFC Championship and then anything happens. And then you look at Detroit. More than likely, we're not going to probably see Detroit. Uh, I think Detroit's a team that'll probably get bounced in the first round. So I think you're going to get those upsets, whether it be a Philly upset, whether it be Detroit getting upset. I think that's where you got the spot for like a Rams or a Seattle team to, to, to pull the upset. So the whole seeding thing can change. Everything can change. Whether you play 49ers, the 49ers are the one seed. If everything played out right, you'd say, well, Dallas, if you don't win the division, you're going to see them in a divisional round. But I'm pretty confident that you're going to get a six or seven seed is going to beat the uh, two or three. So whichever way that works, you, you always have it. And I think this year more than ever, you're going to see it. And really look at the NFL as a whole. I mean, look what happened to the Chiefs. I mean, the Dolphins, they're hot right now. They're playing well. Um, you know, we'll see what happens with them. They're playing the Ravens next week. That's going to be 
a big game. That's going to be a big game to kind of see what happens. But it's a week-to-week league. Never get so too high, never get too low. But uh, I, I like the Cowboys' chances. I know there's uh, going to get a lot of people calling me a homer, and I'm not a homer. I'm realistic. Um, I think they've got things that they've got to work on and things got to play out right. And ideally, being at home is the best option. So I'm hoping that they win it out. I think they will win it out. I think the Eagles will drop one. They just do not look do they, they do not look good. But if Dallas has to go on the road, they're probably their two road games, if you're if you're kind of seeing it, would be would be the Lion or the, the the Buccaneers, NFC South winner on the road. If there's some upsets that fall within within the uh, within the, the playoffs, you could end up at Detroit. I mean, th- those are two places I'm not really that worried about a plan. I mean, they're the better team against Tampa. If they play New Orleans, they're going to be on, t- on, on turf in, indoors, which is what this team, you know, this team's built on that for offense and defense because it's all about speed. Uh, if you play Atlanta, it's the same thing. You're going to be on turf. Um, in the second round, if it ends up working out where you play the Lions, not worried about playing in Detroit. They, it's indoors. It's on turf. Um, and if they got to play Philly on the road, we've done it. We've beaten them there. Uh, we've played well there. We know them. I'm not worried about that either. So I'm just saying as a Cowboys fan, take a step back. Let all your anger out. Um, the Miami game was a good game. Uh, it, it definitely was unfortunate. You wish things happened a different way. But I'm not going to sit here and cry about it. I'm not going to sit here and, 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 and throw the whole season away because we lost 22-20 on a, on a, on a last-second field goal on a road against a team that more than likely is going to win 13 games. I mean, that happens. I hate to say it. Good teams win at home. And it always was said before, win every game at home, split your road games. That's that's the whole that's the old Madden way of looking at your schedule. Win all at home, split your home games. And typically back in the day, you, that pretty much ensured you a one or two seat. You know, you'd be you'd be 12 and four and that would be great. Dallas is more than likely going to be four and five on the road. Um, and I think they'll be, obviously be eight and zero at home, so they're going to be twelve and five. So um, twelve and five, three straight years. I mean, that, that ain't too bad. But we got to see some championships out of it. So getting bounced in the playoffs in the first or second round is is, is unacceptable. People say, "Hey, Mike, is that disappointing?" I, you're damn right. It's a dis. If this team doesn't get to me it, it, to the Super Bowl and win it, that's disappointing. That's just my mindset. Um, you know, if, if they get to the championship game and lose a close one, does that mean you got to blow everything up? No. But I think if they get to the playoffs and they, they drop the first game or something like that, I think they have to take a long look at, OK, what do we have? Um, what do we need to change? Because you can't continue down the same path with the same result. That's just the way it is. Now, I don't I don't think it's coaching. I think, you know, Mike McCarthy. Uh, for all the crap he gets, and Cowboys are always going to get crap. I mean, I, I hadn't watched the, the news uh, this morning, but I'm pretty confident they, they weren't killing Brock Purdy too much. Um, they probably weren't killing Jalen Hurts too much. They're probably praising a gutsy win against the Giants, a gutsy win against the Giants, and 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 Brock Purdy just had an off night, off night. I mean, that's what they do. So. That comes with the territory about being a Cowboys fan. But anyway, you guys, we got a live show Wednesday night. Kelly K9 and I will be in the house. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe, hit the like on this video and all the videos that you watch. It supports the channel. I appreciate everything you guys do, all the support that I get on Twitter with the videos and all that kind of goes. I'm meeting everyone at at the games. You guys, it it makes it, it's a dream come true. So uh, it's something I always, always hope would happen. And being able to go to a bunch of games, that was always a lifetime goal. So I've achieved that. And now I'm hanging with Cowboys Nation. We're we, we getting hyped. And we, we're going to get this thing. So make sure you tune into the live shows Wednesday and then a special one on Thursday, which is going to be focused a lot on Jimmy Johnson finally getting the Ring of Honor. Main reason I'm going there Saturday. See Jimmy Johnson getting put in the Ring of Honor over my over my shoulder there. He's ready to roll. And it's going to be a fun night. I'm sure there's going to be an a, an abundance of Cowboys from the 90s there. Uh, so it's going to be a fun time. I know Troy Aikman's calling the game. So it's going to be a special evening. So hopefully I see you guys all there. You guys know, just hit me up on, on Twitter. Uh, that's what I'm That's what i on mostly, mtag1993. If you're not following me, what the hell's wrong with you? 
Uh, but more importantly, hit that subscribe, hit the like, share everything with Cowboys Nation. I get messages every day. Hey, man, I didn't know you're on YouTube, man. I found it on Twitter. I saw a recommendation from someone, da, 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 da. So always spreading the word is the best thing you can do. You guys have a great, great Tuesday. I'm off all week, so you may be seeing me around every now and then dropping a video. So that's why you want to hit the alert because you never know when your boys pop it in. So hopefully you guys have a great Tuesday and make sure you check us out Wednesday night live. Come be part of the show and I'll give the phone number out. Hopefully you guys, you guys will call. Sometimes you guys get nervous and don't call, but maybe you will this time. All right. Take care. Have a good one.